Hello everybody, it's the doctor here. Today we're going to be doing a review on set 79008. This is the pirate ship ambush. It does come with 756 pieces. Um, looks pretty cool just from the box. We get a ton of figures. As you can see, we get a nice amount of figures. We get a total of nine figures in this set three of which are really cool ghost figures we also get one little pirate some orcs and of course the trio of the fellowship that we get to see fighting the most looks like a lot of decent features looks like we get a catapult maybe a little prison on the boat uh, ghost figures are just tearing everything up some nice playability features, some weapons. So let's go ahead and open this box up, build it, and then we're going to check out the pirates and the ghosts. Okay, we're going to start off with one of the coolest minifigures out of this whole line of really awesome figures. We get the Ghost King. Now, this is the king that Aragorn groups up with, and they pretty much destroy tons and tons of bad guys. They, they destroy all of the humans from the east that are on the pirate ship, as well as in front of Gondor. They pretty much just wave over all the soldiers in the destroy. This is the king. Comes with a very unique colored sand colored green crown. Comes with his sword. He does have back printing as well as a double sided face. So overall very detailed, very cool looking guy. Just a really neat minifigure to have in pretty much any collection of minifigures. Next we have one of the ghost soldiers, comes with a nice little short sword, again very unique printing on the front. All the pants are the same, but as far as the chest printing and the back printing they are all unique. And also we get 
another sand green colored armor piece. He comes with a different colored cape though, because the king is wearing red. He also comes with back printing and a double sided face, but this second face is actually used for the second soldier. As you can see here, same pant printing, different front chest printing. Also comes with different colored hands, same sword, same helmet area. And just a tiny bit of back printing. We also get two orc soldiers. They're identical other than the fact that one has armor, one has an axe, and one has a sword. Other than that, they're exactly identical. The printing on the back and the front is the same. He's just wearing armor to make it look like a different dude. Still pretty cool that we get some generic orcs. You can never have too much orc fodder to just tear up with Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli. We also get a random prisoner with bread. I'm guessing this is one of the human soldiers they find on the pirate ship and then confined to the brig because he's got a chain on him. He's also wielding a nice loaf of bread. Some back printing underneath as well as a second face. A little bit more worried. Maybe he found a rat or the ship or he saw the ghosts. So pretty cool guy. Kind of weird that he has this piece of bread. We also get a Gimli. We've seen quite a few of him before. Very cool helmet piece that fits right over his beard. We also get another Legolas. And last but not least, we get an Aragorn. So overall, pretty nice collection of figures to have. Especially them jumping off the ship and attacking the shore. And then the horde of ghosts following them. Scaring the orcs. So let's go ahead and check out the small catapult as well as the huge pirate ship. So there's the entire boat that we get. Um, we also get a small, tiny edition of a catapult, which seems kind of useless to me. Uh, I would have rather had a little bit more details on the boat, but we'll talk about that in a second. So let's go ahead and start off with this nice little useless catapult, and then we'll move on to the Big Mac Daddy of a boat. So here's the catapult. It's supposed to take a little rock, pop it down in there, press down on this gray area right here, and it will fling a um, rock at the pirate ship. Oddly enough, though, the orcs were supposed to be unaware of anything bad coming off of this boat, so I don't know why they would have a catapult ready to shoot at the boat if they thought it was going to be friendlies on the pirate ship anyways so very odd piece but i guess if you want some action going on on this boat you could try to shoot it down with some rocks with your friendly orc guys who are unaware of the impending doom of ghosties so not really sure why this is in here it rolls decent enough but it's not really needed in my opinion because they are supposed to be just chilling at the docks saying oh you know they're finally here and then just get completely waved over by ghosties but oh well let's move on to the cool part the boat here's the boat moves pretty smooth on a smooth surface there are round pieces underneath that help it slide again like uh pretty much every other boat they do have the smooth pieces on the bottom One thing you will notice that's a little bit odd is how cool it looks from this side and then how uncool it looks from 
the other side. So you can see there's no printing on the actual sails on the back, which is not that big of a deal because you have the details of the actual sail um, masts, but it would have been cool to have printing on both sides. Other than that, it's the only weird thing about the sails. Just a nitpicky thing. So let's go ahead and close for some details. A lot of cool stuff going on in here. We got this crank that actually sounds like a crank and lowers these axes down into the water, which are probably anchors, but they're pretty cool looking anchors. So those lower down and lift up. Moving on, you get a nice little area to hold weapons and keys and whatnot. You also got a really cool detail. Pirates love dragon details of course flick fire missile that's in a weird spot it's kind of hard to get to from the back side but you can actually turn it for ease of shooting it's supposed to be like a little crossbow area nice details of chains everywhere you also get some extra flick fire missiles in here there's some treasure got a diamond and a piece of gold that just kind of fits in there sits on the I guess this prison area of course they always have this where there's people stuck down in it but you can't actually go below deck anywhere there's a little chest here as well that kind of fits weird it doesn't really actually stay down it's very loose here but there's some treasure map pieces in here with different designs on each one so okay detail on there pretty cool all of these decals on here are stickers on the pieces of wood so eh, don't really care for the stickers especially on the thin pieces nice little chain, chain detail leading up to the prison area which is actually covered by this area right here you could just lift up the whole sail and the prison is down inside here where you could fit your soldier and bread here we have the inside of the ship inside the little hold area where the single bread warrior would stay be held he's got a rat in there with him a little bucket there are some doors here some prison doors very basic little area. And then this goes back right on top of there. It just sits on there. It doesn't really snap in or anything. Some cool shield details as well as these nice dragon wings on the back. There is a little steering wheel for the ship. Some flames. And then even on the bottom there is this moving piece which kind of directs where the boat will go. So overall, pretty cool looking boat. Very nice details all around. Love the flick fire missiles. Nice little detail there. And the front has a crazy looking spike. Probably for stabbing other pirate ships. So what are my thoughts on the pirate ship ambush? I really like this set. It is a definite build it for me. has some really nice ghost uh, figures the ones that are trying to be put to rest so they're fighting for Aragorn to make up for their debt for their fleeing the previous battle very cool figures very cool boat a lot of cool spiky details that make it look like a pirate ship has all the cool details of a pirate ship the spikes the bows on the side the flick fire missiles the random weapons of course the guy being held up in his own ship is pretty funny as well him just chilling in there with a the rat not a lot of crazy play features that are built into the set but you really don't need to because there's so much cool stuff that's on the boat that you can just interact with and just jump off of the boat and take over all these orcs. Very fun set. 
Hope to see more ghost figures in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Hope you guys could pick up this pirate ship ambush. It is a very cool set. Very fun set to build. Not too difficult. And I'll see you guys around.